The following is a presentation of the Eagles Sports Network. Here for the Eagles Sports Network, alongside head and women's soccer coach Simon Duffy, I'm Brian White. But beyond that point, you play the same team in Tusculum that you just played on mm. Monday. Yeah. So talk about what it, the mindset is of your team as you head into a match with the same team that you just faced two days ago. I think the biggest, uh, the, just the one word I'd use is complacency. So we, we've obviously played this team a few days ago, had a great result against them, but the, the result was down to the quality of our players and what they did that day, um, the intensity that they decided to show up and play at. Um, and, and, and our speed of play throughout the game. It was excellent. I can't uh, speak highly enough of the players. To come through the adversity we've had and been not playing a game in 18 days and then being shut down for five to six days of those, uh, can't, again, just fantastic from our players. They were, they were up for the game and, and I hope that they're going to continue that trend and bring it forward to our game tomorrow um, when we face Tusculum again. One of the biggest things that's stuck out among your team is you allowed that last second double overtime call to Lincoln Memorial. Yeah. Since then, you've outscored opponents 11 to nothing. Yeah. What has changed in your team against Mars Hill and against Tusculum to get to this point of top-level play that you as a coach intend to have all throughout the season? Again, it's just a player's mindset. I think that was a bit of a turning point for us that game. Um, you know, to switch off just for that—it it just shows you switch off for just seconds, and 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 you can be punished by a very good team in LMU. So again, we didn't deserve a whole lot from the game. So I don't, I don't have any ill feelings, uh, you know, when looking back on that game. But I do think it was a turning point for our players that they realised: listen, if we don't bring the the intensity and the desire and and the intent to go out and win a game properly. You know, it's it's a 50-50. It's a toss-up. What's going to happen with the result? But when we show up like we did against Mars Hill and like we did against Tusculum, that's what we're capable of. And it's such an enjoyable team to coach when they're in that frame of mind and when they're in that mindset. It's just um, they 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 understand what's going on and and not a whole lot's going to get in their way. And from these three matches that you've seen, you have seen some members produce some conference-leading numbers. You have freshman Molly Buchowitz yeah. with the conference leading assist with four. You have Emily Futrell as a senior and Abby Henry as a sophomore, tied in the top ten with 13 shots. But the one thing that sticks out to me covering this team, you have four players or four or five players tied on the team lead mm. with two goals. Yeah. So talk about the diversity or the spread the ability for this team to not overpower one another but play as a team throughout and lead to these types of numbers one of the hardest things to do is to shut down a team that can score from multiple areas you know when we've we've had it in the past we've had some just superb players exceptional players talented players here and a lot of teams try and shut them down and and it, it could end up shutting the team down if, if the player that's scoring all the goals is you know double teamed or just taken out of the game in a way that's just they're not able to play. But when we've got players coming from Lyra and Sav and Adi and Emily, it's it's very difficult to to stop it. And 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 again, I hope it continues. Long may it continue. But um, the goals against Tusculum the other night were of a very high quality again. And uh, I I hope we can continue that on. But again, I, I, like I said, the very first word I said in the interview, complacency is going to be the biggest thing for us tomorrow. That Number one, the weather doesn't affect us if there's any delays. But number one is showing up with that same mindset we did um, uh, on Monday at our home that we can come out and get the victory. And finally, tomorrow when you take to the pitch, you get to honor a senior in Leah Mathis yeah. who has been with this program for the last two years under your tutelage. Yeah. So just talk about what type of player she is and what she's brought to this program to help you guys see success the past two years. I wish she was staying on just for one more semester or something, to be honest. But no, she's been wonderful. She joined us as a transfer for Martin Methodist, another superb team. Won a lot over there. Very, you know, uh, just a winning culture over at Martin Methodist. And, and she came here, didn't miss a beat straight away, um, kind of integrated herself into the team girls accepted her, just had a very high work rate, 
Um, the, the, the thing I would say most about her, she's just so, so easy going. There's not a whole lot you have to worry about with Lyra. Um, in the classroom, on the pitch, she's going to go out and do what she's capable of, and you've seen that now in the last three games. Um, the goals she scored um, have been excellent, but what she does on the defensive end for us as well, the athleticism. We've got a pretty tall team, especially when we're lining up for corners and so on. You really you re realise it then. But no, it's, she's, she's been great to have around. I'd, I'd, I'd just love to have her just for one more summit. Not a year. I'll, I'll, I'll meet in the middle. But uh, no, again, she's been a great uh, player for us. And, you know, she's going to go on now and do some, some fast, fantastic things after she graduates in May. But she's going to be sorely missed by the staff, by the players here. And, uh, yeah, just thrilled that we, we only had her for two years, but we're very happy that we had her for those two years. Thanks, Coach, and best of luck when you guys take the pitch against Tesco. Thank you. For the Eagle Sports Network, I'm Brian White, here with head women's soccer coach Simon Duffy.